Good morning. This morning's reflection is about what it means to be part of God's family. What it means to be related to Jesus. That's a hard thing to get your head around, isn't it? That Jesus is your brother. You have a brother who is a king. I wonder how many people know that about you. And if Jesus is your brother, then God is your father. How amazing is that? Scripture is very clear. In Ephesians chapter 1, it tells us that a, that a Christian is a chosen child of God. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will. As adopted children, we enter into a new relationship with God. Though we were chosen before the foundation of the world, we lived as an enemy of God up to the moment of our salvation. At our conversion, we were adopted into God's family through Jesus Christ. And 1 John chapter 3 tells us that we have a new identity. The sons and daughters of God, the eternal God is our father. It reads, dear friends, now we are children of God and that we will be has not yet been made known. But we will know that when Christ appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. All who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. When we believe in our hearts the gospel of Jesus Christ and surrender our lives to his lordship, God adopts us into his family and considers us joint heirs with his son, Jesus. Romans 8 tells us our heavenly father wants his children to bear a family resemblance. And he not only gave us the perfect example in our big brother, Jesus Christ, but he gives us his spirit, which dwells within us. The Holy Spirit directs us and convicts us when we do wrong. Therefore, as adopted children, we have a new opportunity. Since the Holy Spirit lives inside us, for the first time we can really please God and be holy. We have a new blessing and inheritance. Let me read Romans 8, verses 14 to 7 to you. We are joined heirs with Jesus, receiving his eternal riches. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Now, if we are God's children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share his suffering in order that we may also share his glory. When you know and understand who you are in Christ, it gives you reassurance and security. It makes you feel strong and confident. When you know that you are loved so much, it doesn't matter how many mistakes you make or how much you might stuff up. We all do from time to time, but you will know there is nothing you can do that can separate you from the love of God. You might feel angry or disappointed in yourself. I know I do. I'm not perfect. But despite my weaknesses, I know that God's love for me, for all of us, doesn't change. When you understand and accept that it is really liberating because then you realise it doesn't really matter what others think about you. Whether they think you are good enough or not, you will know that God loves you and that you are so precious in his sight. That is my prayer for you this morning, that you know who you are in him, that you are a child of God that Jesus is your brother and that you are so much loved and are so very precious in his sight. Nothing or no one can take that away from you. That's good reason to sing his praises. Amen.